time that Chuck was logged in, he got rid of chat and put it somewhere else, so I have no idea what chat is saying right now. Say all that you can while you can, because eventually I will see what you're saying. Okay, um, I guess we'll get started. I've already brought some black beans to a boil. I am attempting, this is actually probably about ready. Uh, um, usually I would soak dried black beans overnight to rehydrate them, um, but I hadn't had that opportunity because we decided at 10 o'clock today that I would be doing a stream. So, um, Right now, I'm just kind of rehydrating them and boiling them for two minutes, and then I'm gonna let them sit for about an hour, um, and then I'm gonna treat it as if they had sat overnight um, and soaked overnight and just see how it turns out. I've never done it this way, um, but it was kind of something that I, I found. Uh, it was on the back of the package of the Goya beans, and then I read about it online just to double check, uh, and apparently it's possible, so we will see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start making a couple of different things. I guess let me tell you what we're actually doing here today. Uh, I'm just gonna make a bunch of Cuban food. Uh, so I've got tostenes coming. We're gonna do some maduros, which I have never made. I don't technically, typically even order or like. Uh, I'm not really into sweet things. I'm more of a savory person. Um, but I feel like if I make it at home, I can kind of, um, do better than like the sickly sweet sticky ones that you would get in a restaurant. So we'll see if we can attempt to make this a little bit more palatable for me. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do some salsa verde. Uh, I should let, let make some guacamole just for fun. I know that it's not Cuban, um, but sometimes I do actually add uh, avocado into my salsa verde um, just to you know give it a little bit of a creamier um, dip like consistency for when we do like chips and dips and stuff. Um, I'm going to do my black beans and rice. Um, the black beans I'm going to make some sofrito for. Uh, and then I also have, I'm going to do some palomilla steak and I'm going to do some Cuban quesadillas. Uh, I have already started marinating. I'm kind of doing like the three step um, this is what it should be here at this point, this is what it should be here at this point, and then kind of going into um, the end game with the quesadillas. I, I will actually uh, marinate and then braise pork butt um, to make like a slow roast kind of mojo pork, uh, and we obviously don't have the time for that. Um, so I actually have some in our deep freezer, uh, so I'm gonna end up pulling that out for the, to actually make the quesadillas, um, but I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I do from marinade um, to stove top um, and kind of searing it and then getting it braising. And then for the, um, I've got like two butts. So one is marinating and then the other one I'm gonna make the marinade for so you guys can kind of watch that. I still have no chat. Okay, I have no idea if anybody's saying anything. I don't even know how to find it. No, oh, where'd it go? You got rid of it and had it on a second screen, and I have no idea how to get it back. <laughs> I have no chat. <laughs> boogity, boogity, boogity. Na, 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 na. I don't have to listen to you guys. <laughs> I have no idea, baby. I don't know what you do with it. He's gonna attempt to find you guys so that I can actually watch. My computer still is not up yet. It must have done a software update or something. Um, I don't know why it's taking so long to, to come out. Okay, so I don't even know where I feel like starting. I guess let's attempt to do as much prep as I can here. I could make a mojito as well. I did get some mint from outside just in case we felt like it, um, but I'm gonna leave that up to, to Lep because we, we went out last night and I don't know how everybody's feeling about extra drinks. Maybe one drink. Maybe one drink? Okay, that sounds nice to me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, start chopping up some onions and some green peppers. 
uh, for my, uh, my black beans. Um, obviously, I'm not going to actually get to it for another hour or so, uh, but just we'll just try to get as much possibly done as we can. I kind of feel like now that I'm looking at this, I feel like this is going to be a pretty quick stream. I guess I don't have the meat out. I should probably do that too, actually. Let me get the meat out of the refrigerator so it can come to room temperature. Or at least closer to it. I usually marinate this overnight. Um, it'll probably only be marinating for about two to three hours by the time I get it into the oven today. I'm gonna wait until like the last possible minute to, um, so it'll probably be the last thing that we do today to sear that and get that, um, get that into the, uh, the oven. But, you know, we're gonna go ahead and just see you know, exactly what we can do today in the time that we have. But I want it to marinate for as long as I can possibly get it to marinate. You can't find it? No, I found it. I'm just trying to do it. Okay. Uh, are you a professional chef? Did you go to school? No. No, I did not. I am a home chef. I did not go to school for any of this. I just find it fun, and I read a lot. <laughs> What did I do with my phone? <clears throat> What's going on? Why do you all have them? The, the other Google Chrome. <laughs> what do you got? Where's chat? You can't all have another Google Chrome window? I'm sorry, what are you trying to do? Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to kind of um, really large dice this. Am I actually in the shot? Okay. Everyone can get scared about my chopping skills. Why not? Okay. Okay. So that's going to go in with my beans. Set this aside. I'm pretty much going to just like put everything here. Okay. I'm going to do some garlic. I'm just going to do one of these. Um, this is, again, I, I talked about this last time. Um, this is elephant garlic. Um, it's, this is one clove. Uh, so I will be using this one clove for multiple things that I make today because it's ginormous. Um, I'm not really supposed to eat garlic, so I get elephant garlic, if anything, um, because it is not as strong as regular garlic is. So I can be nice to myself. Um, this recipe that I'm using um, calls for four cloves of garlic to be cooked in with that. I'm only going to put this in and I'm not going to, um, I'm going to kind of just give it a little bit of a smash uh, and then just put it in so that I can take it out later. Um, I, I should not eat. Um, I really shouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway because garlic is delicious. Um, so I'm just going to kind of put it in and then fish it out later along with the bay leaves. So just giving it a little bit of a smash. That's going to end up in. Come on. Paper doll. 
that's going to end up in my black beans. Mother of pearl. Okay. You good, babe? I have bay leaves in here somewhere. Nah, I've got better bay leaves than that. Hold on. Hold the phone chat. So if any of you live in Atlanta, please, for the love of God, or whomever else you want to claim love for, uh, go to the DeKalb Farmer's Market. This was a dollar. <laughs> All of these fun bay leaves were a dollar. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. I guess I can make, I can do, I can do my sofrito ahead of time. I might do that and then just kind of leave it and use it when I need it. So let's go ahead and do that too. We'll chop everything for my sofrito um, and we'll kind of chop up a couple of other things too for funsies. I think I'm gonna switch that out. Um, you're tr traditionally, you would put ham hock in this. I'm not going to just because I really didn't have time, um, t to go and find one that I wanted and all of that. So I'm going to use some bacon, um, for my sofrito and then just kind of hope that that gives enough of flavor. Um, you're really, you are really supposed to put like, just like chunks of ham in with your beans. It makes it taste much better. Um, so this will not be fully traditional. I'm already kind of not soaking overnight. Um, and I'm kind of pre-cooking them a little bit. So I figured, hey, you know what? I already kind of strayed from the traditional recipe, so we're gonna go ahead and just stray a little further. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna add in, let's see, where are you? <clears throat> what? I don't know what you're doing over there. What are you attempting to do? Uh, sure. She has chat. Uh, make it brighter. It's not brighter. Good. Good. Yeah, I think so. Works. Thanks, chat. Cool. Is she chugging the Bacardi? No. Yes. No. Definitely maybe. Definitely maybe. <laughs> it's because of the TV. That's her favorite show. Yeah, she'll sit and watch that forever. Hello, everybody. Man, now I gotta pay attention to you. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so you got some green pepper going in here. I'm gonna chop up an onion as well. I think, I think what I might do, oh, that was louder than I wanted it to be. I like to separate out what I'm chopping um, because I do not want to cook things at the same time because they cook at different speeds. So I'm going to have the onion separate from the green pepper. So the onion will go in first, probably along with garlic. Um, and then I'm going to throw in the green pepper. No, that's a lie. Then I want to throw in my bacon. And then I'll probably throw in the green pepper. I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. 
Any advice, guys? Both at the same time. What, what, should I do the green pepper first or the uh, bacon first? Who's that tall guy in the kitchen? <laughs> How tall are you, Lip? You're so tall. No, I am short, and he is above average. So I like guess 6'2 carries 5'3, 6 plus 2 equals 8, 5 plus 2 equals 8. Coincidence? <laughs> Test the alerts here. It sounds off. So I'll we see them, but mistakes. I'm not going to hear anything. We have happy accidents. You want me to turn it up? What about me? Aren't you going to hear me come through? Oh, where'd he go? Why'd he go away? Why'd what go away? <laughs> Turn it up and then run away. <laughs> so weird. Okay. No, I, I stopped the stream. Everything after bacon is kind of unnecessary, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pep I mean, I think I'll cook the pepper, because I can, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to cook the pepper next. I just know the bacon's going to add a lot of liquid, and it's going to start, like... Can I eat this? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Me too. Ugh, I hate this uh, this knife for this. Can you can you get me the other knife, please? It's not it's not um, whatever enough. Thanks. Sharp. Yeah, sharp enough. Oopsie. What did he say? Hollow ground blade. It slides, it's, it actually doesn't have a middle section. Oh. It slides through faster because there's no friction against steel or whatever your blade's made out of. That is in my eyes, guys. Uh -huh. I do a nice sharpening stream. Get away. I am going to Garden Con. So is a family, but they won't be in the convention too often or at all. Low-key satisfying to get their stop like that. Hell yeah, look at her go. Yes. I'm making guac today, hell yeah, maybe. She lets me. I figured we could add some avocado into the um, the oh, salsa verde. Does so that sound good? You just decided you were dehydrated. No, I just. It it hit you suddenly. No, yeah, I started getting dizzy. Sorry. We can add some avocado into the salsa verde if you want, or you can just make some guac. That's fine. Why not? We've got plenty of avocado. I bought more avocado so that you could. Why does Gatorade get hot hard? And it's old, but I just don't care. I'm going to cover that just to keep it a little bit out of my eyes because I don't feel like dealing with it. And then I'm, I'm actually going to turn this on one. Okay. Yes, it is Damascus steel. <laughs> yes, Lep is making guac. Huh? Is it Valerian steel? <laughs> Valerian steel. If you do hit you, hit you up, I sharpen knives. Nice, that's kind of cool. Local immediate care center. <laughs> oh, good. Buy them now. Who knows when they're going to put a 50%. What? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Let's see. This says to do the bacon first. Yeah, I don't know about that. Should 
Should I do the guac? Should I put garlic in this? I should. We'll just do a little bit. A little sub for guac. I got you, Connor. Con oh, guys, you guys want to watch something sour. fun? Kind of sour. Should I start with guac? I, sure. I don't know why I have this, but I totally have this. I don't actually, like, this is, it's very rare to have garlic in my house. Um, this is awesome. So you rock it over the garlic instead of having a garlic press. And in garlic presses, I used to have them, and they annoyed the crap out of me because it wouldn't ever get all of the garlic through, and you would end up with like um, you'd end up with like a whole like just like smashed, but like one piece of garlic. You'd end up having to cut anyway. Um, and so I went ahead and I bought this, and I really like this. You basically just rock it over. Um, and it goes all the way through and then you scrape off and you can just keep redoing it until you have like it all smashed out and ready to go. Um, and I like love this thing. Don't mind me. Like just, just ice picking over there. Literally, what flavor is this? Frost. Got it. <laughs> Glacier frost, I think. Yeah. yeah. I need a spoon. My eyes are going crazy right now, guys. You're gonna see tears on stream today, ladies and gents. There ain't no gents in the stream. No gents? Are you sure? I just like that I can get to like both sides and it's not like closed in by the press. Quack me, daddy. Cece says she has one of those. I love these. Is it it's a garlic press or is it? It's a garlic press, but special? but it's not. So like the typical garlic press is like you, it's like it opens and you put the garlic clove in it and then you close it and you squish it through. Mm -hmm. And it just, it never, it never works. So now I've got like basically garlic paste here. How do you make guac? Great question. <laughs> I Tomato. bought cacique. We can make it with tequila. Oh, true. Tomato, onion. We can do that now. Uh, a little bit of lime juice, avocado. That's all I do. Add some salt. Whew. But she likes to add, I think, what else do you add? Chives? No, not chives. What else do you add to guac? You add the other stuff. Is that it? I usually just do, yeah, tomato, onion, lime juice, and, and avocado. And just some salt. Yeah. That's it. Sometimes you can add cilantro. Is that what you're thinking about? Okay. Yeah, it's, it is. It's pico, it's pico plus av smooshed avocados. That's smooshed. exactly it. Smooshed. Smooshed. Yeah, I don't, yeah, exactly. They're just really hard to clean and it never, it, you never use the whole clove and it annoys me because like, what's the point? She <laughs> get her an EpiPen. I've, no, I've got some that are not ripe there. Oh. So when those are used, the other bag that's directly in front of you that you did not see. Jesus Christ. Can, we can use later this week. So just use what you want. I'm still going. Okay. You're still, <laughs> nice. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. And, oh, I need some vinegar, guys. <laughs> I need some Costco vinegar. She has bigger arms than you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually. Flex off. No, I'm not. Go away. I'm not doing that. You're silly. Okay. Something else that I, I would very much like to do um, is I've never... I've never made salsa verde roasting my vegetables and I've always wanted to just like fire them up over the grill and get like a nice char on them. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about roasting these today because I feel like the flavor is just going to be so much better. I just don't have, like I don't have gas um, ah. cooktop. So the only way that I would um, be able to do this is if I like just roasted it or, or like broiled it or something like that without using my, um, without using my, uh, my grill. So a stuff for his pepper stream? Yeah, it would. 
Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to like kind of um, roast them for a little while in the oven and then I'm going to um, turn on the broiler and get them kind of like charred up a little bit. I don't have, I don't have open flame. I have, I mean, I could just like char them. Um, not royal with a 31 months of sub, subs. I said subs into my head thought food and was like, wait, is that right? Like food subs? That doesn't make sense. I am hungry. Well, he said I'm hungry. And so I guess I might, I went to subs. Broil them skin side up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking I would do. But typically, I boil the tomatillos to get them soft. Um, so I'm probably still going to do that, though. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to boil my, my peppers. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to roast and then, and then broil these and get them cooked that way instead of the way I usually do it, just to try, okay. right? Why not? Let's try. You said you do it skin side up. That works for me. Skin side up it is, guys. What about my tomatoes? Should I do, do I cut? I don't want to cut them because I want to keep the juice in them. And they'll start to get all like soft in the, in the oven. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna roast them and then broil them. Oh, see, Archangel Man, Mon? Yes. Yes, right there. I see that. I like it. I'm doing it. What is it? All right, I'm gonna do 400 on the oven. And I'm actually going to take this top rack out uh, because when I put my pork in, for my pulled pork, I want to have space for my roasting pan with lid to fit. Oh good, these are getting nice and soft. Cool. And when I say nice and soft, I mean like they're not rocks anymore. <laughs> I don't mean like we can eat them yet. They're not close to that, but they're in a good place. Okay, we're gonna grab a sheet pan, a half sheet, quarter sheet, half sheet, half sheet. This is a half sheet. And is it a half quarter, half sheet? This is a half sheet. Half quarter, half. The quarter sheet is the one that fits this way in in this pan. Let's do it, guys. I feel like this pepper's gonna cook faster than my tomatoes. I don't know. Actually, I will eventually need this as well. So we're actually gonna put this back in, but I'm gonna actually put my tray at the top because that's where my fun little broiling action will take place. Yeah, see the, so there, there, are, there are elements in your oven that are at the very top and if you do broil, it puts them up to like 550 or 600 um, and they get really, really hot and they're going to, is that Luke? They're basically going to just blacken anything um, within a couple inches of them and they will burn, it will burn and flame. You have to watch it. Um, broiling happens very quickly. Um, so don't like, don't turn away. <laughs> Yeah, fried, fried green tomatoes. Bust out the propane torch. See, I want a torch. I don't own a torch. I need to buy a torch. That'll be the next thing I get. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to need some onion for this as well. Um, I'm probably only going to use about half of this onion. This is a ginormous onion. Um, so half of this is a normal sized onion. It's like almost as big as my face. Mm. 
We're gonna save all these for the next time I make. I made chicken stock this week. Um, so I'm like completely depleted of onions and leftover celery and stuff. So we're gonna save these onion tops for chicken stock. And it's about to get pretty loud in here because my son is up now. So both, both daughter and son are awake. And daughter has been quietly watching TV. And I don't know if my son is going to come in here and be okay with the level of volume that it's currently at. So he might get a little upset. I can't hear it. Turn it up. Make it louder. We'll see what happens. Um, so either they're going to be fine. There will be tears when I say I can't turn the volume up. Uh, and I don't know what's, what's going to happen. We're going to have to leave uh, Lep to figure out what to do with the kids. Oh, uh, why, God. Peeling onion socks. Come on. Modelo time. Guys, we're doing... Ah, get it. Luke time. Yeah, he's going to be... He'll come out here. Um, also this, I'm, I'm not doing anything fun with this. I'm just rough chopping it because this is going to go into a food processor for my salsa. And I just need it to be small enough to blend. So that's done. Yay. There it is. <laughs> Why don't you give him an iPad? What's he supposed to do? Oh, that makes me sad. That's the sound you make when you're hungry? Yeah, same. Okay. Oh, I need these to be wet. Poor things. I'm going to get my other cilantro out. Actually, we're going to leave those in the refrigerator. I almost said oven. We're going to leave those in the refrigerator. I am going to go ahead and let's see. I'm just going to chop up this now. I really don't have much else to prep, guys. I think we've got basically everything that's necessary. Except for this. Nobody look at where it's from. Uh, I couldn't find anything that was, I usually get like the nitrate and sulfate free stuff. Couldn't find any of that. I'm gonna add more bacon into this than it says in the recipe because I don't have ham. And why not? You can't go wrong with more bacon. You can't ever go wrong with more bacon. Uh, they're, on, they're both on the table, I think. There's one right there underneath that yellow thing on the table. Okay. More bacon, the better, right? That's all I'm saying. Seriously, Paul? I will remember that. Paul? Wait, are we Paul for a reason? Are we Paul from New Jersey? <laughs> I've, I have had bacon jam on like a sandwich. Um, it was delicious. 
but I've never actually made my, like, made bacon or tomato jam or any of that kind of stuff by myself. I think it'd be fun to do. I don't like wrapping anything in bacon. I like just cooking bacon by itself and having it kind of as like a topping or an accoutrement. Um, whoa, my name is Ro Rowan. I am a panda. Hi, Rowan. Um, it's kind of hard to believe you're actually a panda, but it's cool. I'm going with it. I'm suspending the belief or the disbelief for just a second. Welcome, Mr. Rowan Panda. Um, there are two pandas in chat. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you're a panda for real. <laughs> I, uh, I don't typically wrap bacon in anything. I think that bacon and bananas uh, are another, that's another example, um, are foods that if you add them to something, it just starts tasting like that. Um, and I'm not gonna go spend money on scallops or lobster or a filet and then wrap it in something that costs 30 cents and make it taste like something um, that costs 30 cents. It kind of pisses me off. I want it to taste the way it's supposed to taste. I paid for something that was really expensive and I wanna taste the damn flavor of that thing. Um, so I don't typically, uh, I don't typically uh, wrap bacon in, in, in anything or put banana in anything. Yeah. It t it, I could probably, like, I could see, like, I, okay, let, let me rephrase. Let me, I think, you know what, I think I can, I can make this better. So I don't like to wrap bacon around other protein. I think like wrapping it around a veggie is probably good. Like bacon wrapped asparagus probably sounds freaking delicious. Um, bacon wrapped jalapenos also sounds great. So like we can wrap bacon around a vegetable, but I don't like it wrapped around other protein. Does that, does that, you respect that? Okay. What if you're wrrapping something that's also I don't know, 30C, I don't know what that means. Uh, like a hot dog. Um, yeah, bacon wrap pretzels, that's cool, but it's not protein. I don't know if I would even bacon wrap a hot dog. I think that kind of sounds weird. That kind of sounds weird. They are pretty much the same flavor, though, so. A crispy outside couldn't be a bad thing. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about bacon wrapped hot dogs. Bacon around a protein bar, gross. <laughs> Two hour guacamole is off to a great start. <laughs> Kids woke up. And yeah. Where am I? I see my tomatoes starting to get a little wrinkly. Okay, so we got our bacon. You got, did you want to start putting, cleaning and putting this stuff away before? Oh, okay. I took everything out of the refrigerator yep. like you wanted me to. Okay. Wash my hands. I'm going to need that when you're done with it, so just bring the cutting board back um, over here. Two cutting boards? Well, that one's got the bacon all over it, so I'll need what you've got. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you guys uh, the marinade for the pork. Uh, so right now I've got a pork butt in a marinade. Um, it's been sitting for probably about two hours now, I'm thinking. Um, I would typically, like I think I said earlier, um, for anybody that hasn't, been here very long. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I would love to see that happen. They want to wrap you in bacon. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, that's what I meant by two butts. Thank you, Paul, very much for that was fantastic. Anyway, also that was sarcasm. Um, <laughs> this is the one. It's been marinating. I have a second one in the refrigerator. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. 
Um, I think I just said I typically would marinate this overnight, but I want you guys to kind of see the process of, that I go through for doing this uh, mojo pulled pork. Um, so I am going to pull out the other one and I'm going to get that one marinating. Um, and then near the end of the stream, I'm going to go ahead and I will sear this off and get it braising in the oven. Um, and then I do have, um, I do have some frozen, um, pork that was already made, uh, and I'll get out that for our Cuban quesadillas. Another pork butt. And then I'm also going to need some OJ. You have to clean it first. Yeah. Yeah. The bacon is raw. Okay, I need a baggie. I'm like, what am I missing? Or you know what, I can just use this one, that's fine. Okay, I smell cooking, I smell smoke. Guys, we are already blistering in our oven. And I haven't even Looks like I'm going to be flipping these suckers until we actually broil them. Oh, I canceled it. Might be. Think. It wasn't even up to 400 yet. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. It's two cups of orange juice and a cup of mango juice. What's called? What do you say? So I'm going to do this to kind of help me um, because I don't have a million hands and I need two hands for some things. So I'm gonna just kinda stick this over the pot. And then it's gonna hold up everything that I'm doing. Easy. And I need to shake this. Yeah, he's all blue. Okay. So we're gonna do two cups of OJ. Freshly squeezed mango juice. <laughs> yeah, it is Florida OJ. Um, and it is just cartoned mango. And I did not, again, shake it. It's too clear. It's too clear. It should be like, OK, we're good. Add in some salt and black pepper. I still have pepper left over from the last time that Lip did pepper. So we're gonna do about a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna add in a little bit of oregano. And some cumin. We're going to do one lime. And some 
some salt, about a half teaspoon of salt. Thank you. I'm a little nervous there's not gonna be enough liquid in our salsa verde. Where does the liquid usually come from? From the tomatoes, so it should be okay, but it's usually got a lot more going on because I boil it. Right. So they're like nice and wet when they come out of the pot and then go into the blender. This is taking too long and it's kind of annoying me, so I'm gonna get this out. Or not. Where's our, where's my juicer? Oh, it's in here, maybe? If it's, right I can use. It's right here. Okay. Um, well, I have, I have a, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. wherever it may be. I got this too. Yeah. So if anything, we can use that too. My tomatoes are starting to turn yellow in that uh, oven, which is making me happy. Because they're cooking and I like that. And uh, the peppers are completely dehydrating. So we'll see what happens there. No. The f there's just more flavor. When every time you char something, it adds flavor to it. Okay. Okay. So the juice is from one lime, and now we add our pork in. Can you please just take that and garbage it for me? Garbage it. Garbage. Garbage it. Shit, I knew that was gonna happen. I managed to get, to get away with it for the other one. Did not to do that for this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. We made it. You need a bigger one? A bigger what? A pot. No. Why would I need a pot? I just need to get it into the bag and get it closed. This one is bigger than the other one, guys. This butt is bigger. I don't think it's gonna fit in my gallon. I think I may actually need to put it into something. You're right. We got it, I think. <laughs> Are you putting that in here? No, I'm oh. done. I don't need that pot anymore. Oh, you're making another one, sorry. I wasn't watching. You're making your two hour guacamole? Yes, focus. Slippery, I am gonna do this in this sink. I don't wanna drop it. Good Lord. Bag is just not crimping. And it is not very stable. There we go. And she's closed. Now I need to wash everything. Okay. Very observant, are you? Oh, no. Not today. Okay. Pardon moi. Okay, so that's the marinade, uh, and then I'm gonna let that go overnight, and I'll probably make it tomorrow, like make the other one tomorrow. Um, this one I'm going to braise um, and get into the oven a little later. So we're just gonna go ahead and. Leave this over here. See what a mixy, what a fraggish. Okay. Mixy. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start my sofrito uh, and start cooking these uh, start cooking these black beans. I think we're probably gonna have to move the camera over here. I'll just keep moving around for a little bit. What do you want to point it at? Sorry? What do you want to point it at? Just the stove top. Just a, yeah, just okay. here is fine. Okay. Poor thing. I'm trying to decide because I had made absolutely no plans for the order in which I was going to do this. I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing it in an order that makes sense. If I do beans and then the palomilla and then the tostones and then braise, I think that'll work. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get that started. I think Chuck said that he's moving the camera over here so you guys can actually see what I'm gonna be doing. At this point, I'm going to actually just dump this in. Um, I'm going to dump in the rough chopped green onions and the bay leaves and garlic into my um, pot of black beans that are now rehydrated. As soon as I rinse these out. I know, buddy. You can hear it as soon as mommy turns the uh, the sink off, okay? We're almost there, I promise. Oh, good. Beans are going in. We're gonna throw in our garlic, our bay leaves, and our green onions. And we're gonna bring that up and let that simmer. Two 
onions, that tomatoes, lime, sense. and salt. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cook up my onions, cook up my green pepper, and cook up my garlic. And I need a bigger pan than this. might have a little bit of not fun stuff going on in your ears. I know I keep talking about it. Chuck keeps saying that there's nothing right. anymore, but. Yo, what up, Shimmy? Shimmy, how was the, uh, how was the wedding? You killed my bot? I don't know. My bot died. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite utensils in my kitchen. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, basically a wooden flat spoon with holes in it, so there's less friction when you're stirring soups and stuff like that. I love this for scraping down pans uh, and moving stuff around. I will pretty much use it for any roux or like sauteing or anything that I'm doing uh, oh, a with a party. pan. That's right. That's right, Shane. I thought it was a wedding, bachelor party plus wedding. Sizzle. I'm gonna sweat these onions down for just like a minute or two and then throw my green pepper in and my garlic in. Actually, garlic is going in now. Who am I kidding? Let's make that smell real nice. Mm-hmm. I'm adding Cory over. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. He said, what did he say? He said, but I like people. Aw, that's cute. I like people too, buddy. Well, we'll come over next time, okay? We didn't give him enough to heads up. Next time we'll plan the next two screens. No recipe. I, I had a recipe that I used to use for black beans, um, and it has since disappeared from the internet. So I'm trying to find a recipe that looks similar to what I've been using. Um, and none of these are making sense. And apparently, there are like they're not saying what to do with any one part. They just are like, I don't know, it's driving me nuts. Two recipe now, recipes now have like completely contradicted each other and like not said exactly where to put what at what time. Sick. It just says do this, do this, do this, do this, but then it doesn't say what to actually do with any of those things. And so I don't want to like put anything in the wrong place kind of a thing. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just getting myself. Okay, now we're going to throw in... My green peppers. Okay. I'm gonna salt these. I'm actually gonna turn down my heat, holy cow. And then I'm going to salt these a little bit to bring some of the liquid out just a little bit more. I just, as far as I, like, 
I don't know, every time I've ever made sofrito, it's like a paste. And there's like nothing in here that's talking about that and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. I'm actually going to, once I have this cooked to where I want it to be, I'm gonna pour this actually onto this plate here and then put the bacon in and return the um, onions and the green pepper to this pan um, when I'm happy with where my bacon is. Cause it's gonna be too much for the pan to handle if I have all of it in here at once. It's just gonna crowd, it's not gonna cook the right way, um, and I don't wanna get in the way of that, so. So I'm actually good with what this is looking like now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. You got blousers up? I didn't hear it, and wow. I am not looking at the screen. 15 months. Of happy little accidents. Hey, Alexa, play Despacito. <laughs> good thing we don't have one of those in this house, or we would be listening to Despacito right now. Did we get one? I don't know. It's kind of surprising that we don't have one, but. And it's time. Full bacon. I am going to get spattered. Something else that I would very much like to have in this house, but I do not, um, is one of those like spatter screens that you just like stick over your pot or your pan so that you don't get like completely tore up. That's not fun. Just kind of make mistakes. all laid out a little flat Happy somewhat. Accidents. Kind of just try to spread this apart a little bit. It's gonna take five to 10 minutes or so to cook down and brown up this bacon. And it's going to start spattering a lot on me. I think, I think we need to start giving her eardrops. I think she's getting sick. Okay, I've got my, turn this down. I've got my um, black beans kind of boiling a little bit. I'm gonna turn that down so that they, they're actually gonna simmer. I'm gonna cook those until they're tender. And then um, once I feel like my black beans are a good texture, um, which I'm hoping will actually happen, because like I said, this is typically something that like I do overnight and then like you know, we like cook all day. Um, I don't know how fast this is gonna happen. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that, um, get it to a texture that I like, and then the sofrito is gonna go in that. Um, and we shall see. We shall see how it goes. Let this bacon cook. And then I guess let's start messing around with my palomija. 
I'm gonna pound the crap out of this. Now that the kids are awake too, that's kind of nice. What? What do you mean I pull up an email? I don't know. Baby girl, you have food in your plate. Chat, keep us updated on the if you, uh, Xbox stream. Here. Me. What's up? What, Just move. Oh. Hi. Are you trying to eat his food? Hey, in your bowl. Your Here. Bowl. Do you want to sit with Luke? There you go, baby girl. Okay. And we're back. I told her her bowl and she goes for his bowl. Yeah, I know. Because his, his food is better, Daddy. Didn't you know that? Are you done with this? Yeah. Actually... We're going to use our baking board. Can you clean it? Nah. It's all going to cook anyway. Oh, shit, guys. Well, that looks nice. We're going to cancel the upper oven. Completely forgot about that. Uh, but it's ready to go into my uh, food processor. Everything is cooked. We even have some char. Hey, I didn't even need to broil it. I'm so proud of you. You want a bit of it? Sure. Okay. We're going to cover this to let this steam a little bit. As suggested. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these uh, and I'm going to pound the crap out of them. This is a sirloin steak. Okay. No? I, well, I'm like... Okay. No, never mind. You don't have that. Um, with a mallet. Take out any anger, frustration from something. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pound these out. I know that's probably really is it loud for them when I do this because we have that whatever it is right. No, they probably can't even hear it. Well, I know they can hear it. I just don't know how bad it is. Look at chat. Are your ears not loud at all? I know that's. I know that's not true. What I really want to do is to, actually, you know what? I want to. I want to take this out of the bag. I don't care about the bag today, guys. Usually I use a bag. We're not. We're not. I'm not gonna care. I need this to be thinner than this. So palomilla nice is this, is a nice. Palomilla is a sirloin steak um, that's butterflied um, or pounded into oblivion, um, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm basically what I'm trying to do is just get this flat and kind of tenderized, and then I'm gonna um, take the knobby end 
Um, this one's got bigger ones, this one's got little ones. Um, and I'm gonna really get in there. Uh, and I almost wanna like see through this when I'm done with it. I want it to be really, really thin um, because I wanted to basically just kind of like flash cook one side, flash cook the other side and call it a day. I am gonna marinate these. Uh, I'm going to grab a bag. Um, I'm gonna marinate them in a little bit of lime juice, some garlic. Um, and uh, kind of get that that going and just let that kind of absorb. What up, Mork? Mork, congrats on the two man. DW, thanks for the 29 months of happy accident six in a row. Come on, bacon. So Mork and Slayerage beat the raid with two guys, him and Mork. Holy like, cow. Slayerage, two man it. That's pretty cool. Sorry guys. All right, we're gonna start beating it with these now that I've got it flattened a little bit better. I'm sorry. You said yes to Palomia, this is what happens. That is about what I want it to be. Cool. Okay. That is our Palomita steak. Uh, it started like this. And Camera. now it is. Camera's on there now. Oh, it is? Now it is this. Well, I still want them to see that at least. My bacon has decided that it doesn't want to cook right. So I'm just going to let it keep going. And we'll see, eventually it'll get a little better in there. Okay, round two, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry, guys. Should I, I should have Lup do this. What do you need? All hammering sounds the same on mute. Hey, <laughs> do you, do you want to do this? I'll beat the meat. Okay. Kind of like this, like this. Okay, so you're going to start this way and get it kind of just. just throwing? What? Cook meat everywhere? Not really. Oops, sorry. Um, so just flatten it out until it's about like. I don't know. Just tell me. Okay, what's and then and then you can pound it with the knobby side. I don't want to touch it though. You can touch it as long as you clean your hands after. How hard do I hit it? The answer is pretty hard. That looks good. Are you pounding it with the, oh, you already started pounding it with the, okay. Uh, give it one more once over uh, with the knobby side. It tenderizes the meat and it flattens it so it cooks really fast. So you know how when I do, that's good, when I do uh, our chicken, um, our chicken parmesan, parmesan, and I'll butterfly and pound it so that it's nice and thin, I want it to cook. I feel like a hammer titan. Oh. By the hammer of Thor. That one's gonna be a harder one, yeah. I'm gonna sit and eat some guacamole while Love does this for me. Hey. What's up, buddy? What do you want? Are you eating chips too, Miss Kate? That's too many. There we go. This is very good guac, babe. Uh, can you flip it? Uh huh. Or flatten it. Flatten up to use the other side. Uh, 
Well, yeah. Okay, my bacon's starting to crisp up. Is that hammer smarts? Look, you stop beating your meat. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> you're honest, that's pretty bad at beating meat. You gotta meet it, babe. Beat it like you mean it. I am very. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah, flip it. Just up in the side. This yes. is pretty good already. I think we're in a good place. I think I found my new kink. Yeah, that's fine. Just lay it down. Pretend you're farming mats in Fortnite. No, I'm gonna start cleaning everything. So. Okay. So I'm just gonna do this then. This is the earth. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a bit of a marinade. Oh, I'm just getting this pork butt into my refrigerator, the, the one that I wanna sit overnight. It's probably gonna knock everything in my fridge over, but whatever, that's fine. I like super crispy bacon, um, so I'm gonna let this kick, keep cooking even more, uh, but it's basically done. I'll turn it low. Okay, so I'm gonna do a lime. No, it's fine. Which one? Uh, just watch me, chat. Ignore the bacon for now. Never ignore bacon. So basically when you do a marinade, you're just doing some, it's, it's basically just oil and acid um, and then whatever flavor you want to add. So I'm, I'm going to do um, lime juice, olive oil, Ever, I put that uh, and then I'm gonna do some salt and pepper uh, not gonna do salt I'm gonna I'm gonna chop up some onion actually for this as well not a lot but just a little bit to get a little of that flavor in there I really, um, I don't have onion powder. It probably would have been better if, if I did have some onion powder. Honestly, if throwing some of that sofrito in here, the cooked onion and, and green pepper would probably be a great idea. But we're just gonna do this. Don't cry, I know. I'm just gonna rough chop these, really easy. Nothing crazy. WTF, he's so tall. That's literally, why am I really that tall? Compared to me, apparently you are, baby. Sorry. Okay. Now on, you're wearing heels. <laughs> Camera, it's two feet. <laughs> Remember, keep me updated on Xbox stream for E3. I'm not going to add any salt into this. 
Um, I feel like I should, but I don't want to, it's not going to sit for long enough. And I don't want to take all that moisture out of the meat. I just want to get some flavor into it. Um, so we're just going to kind of leave it. Nice Strix. Like this. This bacon is done. Joke's on you, lone soldier. I did cap and kidnap her for life. Oh, God. A lifetime. Holy matrimony. We don't make mistakes. Holy matrimony. We have happy accidents. Dakota Gaming. Just subscribed? <laughs> the fresh one. <laughs> Not really fresh, he just didn't share Yeah, I was going to say, isn't Dakota... He didn't share his link. Oh, okay. You hate when guys don't share their link. Oh my god. This is the adult lep stream. What are you talking about? He didn't share his sub link. How long is your sub? Is it a six inch? Is it a foot long? Okay. Innuendo galore. What's the... What's the indigo window? I should save this bacon grease, guys. If there's any juices left, you gotta save them. It's true. I think we might. I think we might save this bacon grease, guys. hot so I'm just gonna stick it right here if you go to clean that get the water hot before you put it on there or it's gonna spatter on you and that would suck just... well actually you know what that's a lie I actually need this cleaned oh, okay. um, so if you're gonna do something that would be it oops I'm gonna eat some of this bacon Oh my god. Yep. No, not over the heat. Not over the heating element. What's wrong with you? I know. The camera. Just be careful. Oh. Bacon. Nice, crispy, delicious bacon. Yum. And then it's not going to be crispy because I'm going to throw it into this pot. And there goes that. But for now, it's crispy, delicious bacon. I'm going to give this a stir and see how these beans are going. It's smelling good. The green pepper is nice and the garlic is nice. Hot. I can't even squish it yet. I'm probably about halfway cooked. So I'm gonna continue cooking that. Okay, I guess we can start making the tostones and do that. So I actually, yeah, I need that pan and then so I can finish the sofrito. No, how do I want to do this? I need that pan. I'll finish the sofrito and something else. So basically what I need to do now is I need to marry these together a little bit. Um, this is not the biggest pan that I have, uh, but I will just deal with it and I think we'll probably be fine. Um, let's see. I'm going to turn this up to medium heat, <clears throat> let my pan get kind of warm, uh, and then add my stuff back in. I'm going to get that cooking, uh, and then I'm going to add in some of my spices, um, and let's see. I'm going to add in oregano, I'm going to add in cumin, black pepper, let's see, oregano, black pepper, cumin, probably salt to taste, um, let's see, and then I'm going to add some vinegar into this um, to give it a little bit of a tang.
Ugh. You done with this bacon? Right. Yes, I am done with that bacon. Put it back in the fridge? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm also going to add some MSG to my meal, because why not? I'm going to throw a little bit of this um, seasoning into my black beans. And it does have MSG in it. I read the ingredients. I was, it's like the first ingredient. I was like, well, it'll make everything taste good. Why not? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start getting the stuff for my tostones Hi. together. Or actually, I'm using that pan for tostones. We're gonna do that next. I'm gonna do this. This is nice and warm, almost. I'm gonna throw a little bit more oil in the pan, just for funsies. I'm going to put everything back in. Sorry for that scraping noise. Isn't cooking a lovely sound? Did even go in the pan. Okay, add in our bacon. Bacon! which is going to flavor and sauce, soften. Um, and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of the bacon grease into the pan. Well, I don't know why I did olive oil. That was stupid. Let's add some of this. This is a much better idea. There, watch yourself. Shake it fast. You want me to show you, show you what, one more time? Oh, I'm so sore, babe. Sorry. I'm sorry you're sore. Okay. Gonna do some black pepper. Nah, it's corny. Some oregano. This is not coming out the way that I wanted to, so we're gonna do this side. Okay. And then that was a teaspoon of oregano, and then we're gonna do a half teaspoon of cumin. My cumin is almost completely gone, guys. I'm gonna need to make some more. Okay, we're gonna cook with these spices in here. And that smells fan freaking tastic. Oregano is wonderful. Can't wait to throw all of this into my black beans. I feel like that's going to be a very good. Yeah. Okay. And then good nice clean. Thank you. Ooh. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this one. Okay. We're gonna put in three tablespoons of vinegar. 
which I cannot do. That is uber heavy. One. <laughs> Can you hold the back of this? <laughs> Thanks. Two. Three. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, babe. You did it. We did it. I'm a sous chef. You are. Teamwork. Sous chef. Teamwork is the best. Teamwork makes the dreams happen. Oh no, this is great. Okay, so now we're getting we're getting a little bit more of the paste-like consistency that I'm used to seeing. And I'm quite excited about it. basically just cooking out a lot of the moisture now that I've added in. And let all of these flavors really combine. And I'm kind of mashing it just a little bit too as I move it around the pan. Okay, so I'm gonna call this done. I'm gonna set this aside and then we're gonna start the testones. How you doing over there? Good. You good with the pan? Can I take it back? Yeah? Okay, give me a little bit and I'll take you outside, okay? Buddy, why don't you go find shoes and socks? Okay. So there's a bit of a, like, there's a lot that goes on, uh, a lot that goes into um, those stonies. They're actually, like, they're really easy, but um, there's a, it's like kind of like a bunch of steps to get to where you need to get. So I'm gonna fill this up with about a quarter inch of oil. Um, it's gonna rise enough on your slices of, um, geez, on your slices as you put them in, because you know, the more in there, the more it's gonna displace that oil. Um, well, we're going to go ahead, I'm actually going to put this thing, and I'm going to cut this up. Uh, and I'm going to go and I'm going to cut each end off. And then I'm going to just run my knife down from top to bottom. And then I'm going to just stick a finger kind of right underneath the peel and pull up. If I can get in here. There we go. And just run your finger all the way down the slits that you made. We'll do the other side. Plantain, baby. Yo, what up, fat mall? How you doing, buddy? Hey. Doing some testones. Oops, we lost. 
part of that. Right. Same thing. We're just going to run all the way down and just take that peel off. Okay, we call these special chips in my house because <laughs> they're so good. It was kind of a way to get Luke to try them and now he'll like actually request them. Can I have special chips? Um, okay, so we've taken off the skin uh, and now I'm going to cut them anywhere between a half an inch to an inch uh, and we'll have pieces. Now, each one of these is going to make a single chip. I could, I usually buy like two or three of these, um, but since we have so much food, I figured I'll just get one um, so we can just do the one. Uh, and then all of these are going to go in. And I'm going to get myself some tongs. I can flip and do everything that I need to do. Um, and then what we're going to do is so we're going to cook each side. So it'll, they're, they're down now. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll flip them over. Um, and then once they're flipped um, and like cooked all the way through, I'll take them out. Um, and then I'm going to basically smush them. You get a flat cup, glass, something heavy. Um, and I'm going to use this to smush them and then just kind of um, wedge the knife blade underneath and twist and they'll kind of pop off. Uh, and then those actually go back into the oil um, and you kind of double fry them to get them nice and extra crispy. Um, I, I don't, I don't, there's not a particular temperature um, that I know of. Yeah, it just needs to be able to fry it. Um, I, I guess somewhere up in the 200s is, is what you're shooting for. Um, but you want to, you want to make sure that, um, it doesn't like that when you're putting everything into the pan that you're not overcrowding the pan, um, because it will actually stop boiling. The temperature will come so far down and then it'll stick to the bottom of the pan. Um, and you'll never get them off, which is kind of what I'm looking like at now. I'm hoping these will release. Oh, there it goes. Um, usually if you leave them alone long enough and they actually do start to cook, um, they'll release from the bottom of the pan. I can see that there. I have no idea what you guys are seeing, by the way, because I don't have, uh, I don't have a video up. So I have no idea if I'm in the shot correctly or anything. Um, so hopefully you are seeing all of this and I'm not just waving my hands around off camera. That one did not want to come up. Fun. Okay. These are a good yellow color. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and flip. I'll get that one later. Ooh, something else that I tend to do that I really shouldn't is I, I end up like at the end of my tongs and you really should choke up on them so that you have more control and it doesn't kill your hand. I don't think this is going to stand up without help. There you go. We got some buddies helping that one. That mom says you're doing great. Camera's great. You're great. Cool. Please, for the love of great. Oh, my goodness. Flip. Thank you. Okay. Um, so now we've got them cooking on both sides. Can, is there a way that you can like bring this, uh, bring the camera back a little bit so that they can see the whole workplace? Because I'm going to start smashing. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Daddy's getting pulled in five million directions. Okay. A little bit longer. We'll give that another minute. It usually doesn't take very long to uh, get all this stuff going.
So I'm going to start pulling them out. I'm going to put them. onto a paper towel to soak off some of that oil. Um, and then we're going to end up doing it again after we've, um, we've smashed them and we've cooked them properly. Take these out. OK. OK, guys. So I am now going to take a glass. Let's do this. And you're kind of just going to center it. Um, you, you might actually be able to see straight through that. Um, so you're going to center it underneath your glass and then you just push down, get it nice and thin and then just release it with a knife. And so that is going to be your tostone chip. I'm going to throw this in and those are going to cook again on either side. And then I should have salt ready as well. Uh, I want that a little thinner than that. Okay. I'm going to have some salt ready and I'm going to go get some more paper towel um, to rest those. Uh, you have to salt them the second, thanks babe, the second they come out of the oil. Okay. Uh, if you don't salt them the second that they come out of the oil, salt will not stick to them as they dry. Uh, so if you want to have like nice crispy, salty chips, you uh, are going to want to make sure that you have salt kind of on the ready. If he's not ready to play with it correctly, then you can just take it away from him and call it a day. OK. I think I'm going to slow down just a little bit. give those a minute. I'm not going to add any more to the pan. I don't want to overcrowd it. Kind of like what I was saying earlier. After this we'll do the the palomilla. Palomilla. Got here a little late. What's in the pots? Okay, so I've got tostones going in this pan. Um, this one here is black beans, cooking up some black beans. Uh, and then I've got a kind of non, I would call this non-traditional sofrito. I've never done it with like bacon like that. It's kind of a little strange to me, but. As far as I, I have known, um, so frito is, is the, you know, green pepper, uh, garlic, onion, uh, and you just like, and other spices and you just cook it down to nothing. Uh, I've never seen like bacon in sofrito before. You're really yang with a hundred teeny tiny itty bitty mistakes. Thanks. All right, this is done. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down and give it a little sprinkle. Same with this one. Good job, bud. This 
one. We're gonna let that cook a little bit. It's a little, a little lighter than I want on that side. So I'm gonna throw in our new ones. I'm gonna try to keep track of which ones are which. We'll see how that goes. I'm usually not very good at it. What? Try to cook to the side due to the camera above you. Okay. I did forget. This one did not cook enough. So it's not smooshing down. Smoosh! We're gonna have a pretty thick chip on this one, I think. Smoosh! Yum, guys. Yum. Cooking board is clean. I mean, awesome. cooking board, sorry. Jeez. It's a cooking board. That's just, that's cooking fine. Board. That's what Bars. it is. Okay. I want to start the dishes. We need two other dishes tonight. Okay. Is this cleanable? That has never had anything in it. So it's cleanable, but not necessarily. Okay. We want this bacon grease in. Do we have any little Tupperware? I yep. wanted to cool it off before I stuck it in plastic. Okay. Okay. So we've got all that going. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way and clean my space just a little bit. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Got my palmita here. It's lime juice, onion, olive oil, pepper. Um, I'm going to throw some salt in at this point just to get it covered in some salt before it cooks. We'll move it around in the bag. You can tell that the acid from that lime is really working, actually, um, because the, the steak is, is turning a bit of a brown color. It's getting lighter. Um, so I'm actually, I'm going to have some nice kind of lime flavor on the outside of these. And they're so thin that you're really going to get it. It's going to really come out. Keanu Reeves is on Cyberpunk. Oh, my God. They won. They won E3. It's over. What? Keanu Reeves, Cyberpunk. I don't know what that means. Like the Keanu Reeves? The Keanu Reeves. Oh my god. What? I can't wait for that game. Can't wait. Can't wait. Didn't we already know that? Yeah. Did we not? Okay. We already knew about Cyberpunk. Yeah. No, I meant Keanu. Didn't we already know that he was in that? No. Oh. I don't know why that felt like a natural thing for him to just be a part of. Matrix. Mm. Maybe. Hello, Cloud. I want it. Huh. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start dishes and then I'm going to do laundry. What's up, buddy? Okay. You know what it is? No, I'm using that as a What's up, buddy? holder. <laughs> yeah, bud. Are you doing the whole puzzle by yourself? Wow, that's a big task, bud. I keep checking these beans. They're not getting any closer to being finished, which I kind of had a feeling was going to happen, so that's fun. 
Cloud MD. Um, I'm making a bunch of Cuban food today. Uh, so I've got Palomino steak. We've got some pork butt for some mojo. Uh, and then I'm currently making some tostones. I've got black beans um, over the, on, on my back burner here going. I'm trying to cook them, not as an all day thing. I don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe I should get a pressure cooker, which I think would just explode my beans, but hey, why not? Um, I've got some salsa verde that's in here, uh, and then we're also gonna be making some Cuban quesadillas. Um, and this is all gonna kind of come together pretty quickly. Um, so I kind of have done like a whole bunch of prep in the beginning, um, and now we're kind of just finishing out some of the smaller sides, uh, and I'll move on to all of my proteins uh, in, in just a bit. Thanks. So we're taking out our tostones and I'm adding salt to them as soon as I take them out. Um, I said this earlier, but for those of us who just joined, if you try to salt your tostones after they dried and they've been, they've been like finished cooking for a while, the salt will come right off. It will not stay on. Okay. Last thing that I'm going to ask you to do. Okay. No, never mind. I don't need it. I'm just gonna be bad and do that. Uh, I'm gonna use this pot uh, or this pan again, the saucepan again. Um, so I'm just, again. huh? Uh, I just, I'm just gonna rinse it. I don't need it to be anything crazy. I just need to sear my um, my pork on it um, and kind of take care of that. I'm, I'm gonna. I, I know that this is sacrilege. This is complete sacrilege. I'm going to do my steaks on a nonstick pan. I'm going to get it really hot. Um, not really hot, but I'm going to um, get it relatively hot so that it sears. Um, but I, they're so thin, and I've like kind of beat them down so much that I don't want them to um, have any issue coming up off the pan. And so I'm just going to avoid it. I'm going to throw them in a nonstick pan. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I took a really long time figuring out what I wanted this kitchen to be. Um, it was the most important room in the house to me. Um, so I, I, took, I took a really long time just like doing a whole bunch of research, trying to figure out what I wanted to do uh, to make it kind of what I envisioned uh, the, I wanted the kitchen to look like. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know how, f I, don't, I don't actually know what you guys are seeing right now. So I'm going to just try to do this. So these are our tostones. Um, I'm going to um, do the salsa verde as well, and I'm going to add some avocado in. I like to add avocado because we use the tostones to dip into it. Um, so it's kind of like a nice creamy um, dip and not just something that would p maybe go over, kind of like a chimichurri sauce. Um, I like to, to use it as a dip. So I've got my steaks. That smells wonderful. My pan is getting hot, but I want it to get hotter than this, so I'm going to turn the heat up to, to about medium high. These are only going to cook for a couple of minutes. Um, I don't mind, like usually when you have, um, this way, usually when you have palomilla, uh, it's like completely cooked all the way through. I like having a little bit of pink in my palomilla. Um, I'll probably do it both ways today. Have one with just a little bit of pink in the middle. Um, you're never gonna get like a medium rare palomilla because they're so thin. It's really pretty impossible to do. Um, so, so I've seen it a bunch of different ways. Like I've seen it just like kind of cooked crap um, and all the way through. Uh, but they've pounded it so much that it's it's nearly impossible for it to be really dry. Um, and then I've also seen it where it's a little bit thicker um, and you do have some of that medium in the middle. What's the matter, baby girl? What's, oh no. Did it turn off? I think it, yeah. Okay. I need some of my cilantro. And I think that this pan is probably hot enough for me to actually do something with it now. Yes, it is. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put the steaks on. Are you ready, guys? Uh, 
I'm literally gonna cook this like a minute or two on each side, probably two minutes on each side. This one is a little thicker, so I think this is gonna be my one that's got medium on it. That's gonna, this one's a little too thick, that's okay. Wow, that was fast, bud. How many pieces is that one? How many pieces is that one, babe? 40? Nice. That, the big one. Um, we, I just like to cook. I just like to cook. I cook in bulk a lot. Um, and kind of like I'll make like a whole bunch of protein, uh, beans, rice, things like that. And then we'll use them kind of throughout the week, uh, month or however long, um, depending on how much of something that I made. Uh, so I'm just cooking to cook. Hello, Ustacio, hello. <laughs> he, he likes puzzles a lot. Go ahead and flip. I want to turn this fan on. Sorry, guys. You'll have a little bit of a fan for just a little while, and then it'll all go away. This is already almost cooked. So basically these are gonna come out, I'll let them sit and rest. Um, when you make your palomija, uh, traditionally, you're just gonna go ahead and put some chopped onion um, and like some limes on the plate with that. Uh, so fresh chopped onion. And, uh, and it's gonna be real nice. That's too hot. Too hot. My kitchen's going to, my kitchen alarm was gonna go off. I want the pan hot, but I don't want that much smoke because my kitchen won't handle it or my, my fire alarm's not gonna, not gonna be really nice to us. It will go off. This one's going to be a real steak. That's a real steak. Turned out much thicker than the others. But you know what? I'm OK with a sirloin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat that one a medium rare. That's what we're going to do. That's medium rare. OK. Yummy. I'm hoping that the fan over the uh, microwave is catching all of the smoke because I really don't want to have our fire alarm go off. It scares the kids. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'd like to think that I'm, I'm OK. Go ahead and flip that. Get a nice sear on the other side. I'm super excited about this. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take care of our salsa verde uh, next. Oh, 
Okay, fans going on high, guys. Sorry. I'm doing it on purpose. Are we entertaining? Huh? No, we just no. like food. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I said that. You're a good cook. Aww. She is. Your kid can put his puzzle together faster than me. These, on these are gonna. <laughs> these are basically gonna all be um, like medium, medium rare. We didn't. I really, I think what I should have done, um, they're still gonna taste really good, but they're thicker than a traditional palomilla. I think what I'm gonna do uh, in the future is I'll actually cut those steaks in half, I'll butterfly them, and then pound them the same way that I do when I do like a chicken parmesan, uh, because these puffed up and like shrank up quite a bit, and uh, it's not, like these are still medium rare. Medium. Stream is lagging. Uh oh. Probably Twitch and E3. Oh, that's right. That started at four. I forgot that I had a time frame here. Sorry, guys. Okay. I guess we'll get this stuff going too while we're at it. So, I'm going to add a bunch of cilantro to this. It's summer here now, so uh, my cilantro has gone to seed already for my garden. I pulled it out like last week. Um, so now I'm back to buying cilantro from the store. You're going to go ahead and just I don't like having stems. I think that sometimes they're, they like, they don't break down as well. I know this is going into a food processor, but I like taking the leaves off of the stems. A lot of people just chop, like, like just rough chop even the stems and they don't care, but I'm a little picky when it comes to texture. All right, I'm gonna call this, this done. We got our steaks. Could chop up some onion real quick to throw over the top of those too um, when they've cooled off just a little bit. Always, 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 for the love of gosh, let your steaks rest. Do not cook a steak and cut into it before you've let it sit for at least 10 minutes. Um, you're gonna lose all of the juice that's in the steak and it's gonna get really dry and just please don't do it. Don't do it. Let all of the juice reincorporate into your meat when you take it off of your stovetop. And it's the same for anything. If you're roasting something, if you roast a turkey, do not cut into it until you've let it rest. Don't just go for it. I know you're excited. I know you're hungry. Wait. Good things will happen. So I'm just going to give this no chop because it's going into a food processor. And then I'm also going to add some lime. Which I can't remember if I already did. I don't think I did. So. So I'm going to do juice of one lime. I've got a half an onion 
I've got a poblano pepper, and I've got four tomatillos in here. Um, I roasted the tomatoes. Tom tomatoes. I roasted the tomatillos, and I roasted the pepper. Um, in the oven until they basically just exploded a little bit. Um, and then uh, rough chopped, like super, super big pieces, chunks of onion. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and also add the last bit of my cumin. I like to have cumin in my salsa verde. I think it makes it taste better. Okay. And now I'm gonna turn this on and let it go. Okay, so it's definitely, because I, I usually um, will just boil uh, the, the tomatoes and the pepper to cook them. Um, it's definitely not as liquidy if that's even a word, as it usually is if I do that. Um, but I'm actually super liking the color of this. And the flavor is much deeper um, with the roasted uh, peppers than, and the roasted tomato than it would be if it was just the boiled ones. Um, so I'm actually really liking that. I really want to put some hot sauce in that. But then my kids can't eat it. Okay, so we're happy with that. I'll put this, I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's my salsa verde. Um, I am gonna add avocado to this. I'm gonna set some of this aside. I don't know if you guys, sorry, it might've been in the way. I'm gonna set some of this aside uh, for my palomilla. Um, so that I can, I'm gonna put some of this over the top of those. I think that's gonna taste really good if I do that. Um, let's see. How do I wanna do this? I'm just gonna stick it in a little bowl. I'm gonna set some of this aside for my steaks. Hi, Mom. Hey, kiddo. Oh, thanks, buddy. And then I'm going to add avocado to this. Got an avocado going in. I'm gonna do two for funsies. Can you hand me another avocado? All right. Yeah. Thanks. We'll blend it in and see if I want another one. And what's great about this is this will actually stay pretty green. I think we're good with one. Um, this will stay pretty green. The avocado won't brown very much because I have a whole lime in here and I have the tomato, so the acidity from those are gonna keep it nice and green for a really long time. Um, this is actually a really good dip to take over to um, like at somebody's house or something like that if you're, if you're going to like a party or something um, and you wanna do something a little bit different or non-traditional. Doing this dip is great and it lasts. Like it sits out, it's really pretty color, it's a really good flavor, um, and the avocado actually lasts way longer than if you had brought like guacamole or something like that, because um, it's whipped in with all of the acidity from the salsa verde. Lepistol. Yes, he is. 
for the bajillionth time. Okay, I'm gonna just stick this in like a sandwich Tupperware. And I'll try to go a little bit faster for everybody. Um, I completely forgot about EA, to be honest. And the time, I wasn't paying attention to the time at all. So I'll try to finish this out relatively quickly for you guys. So, I.e. like another 30 minutes and then we'll be done. <laughs> what, bud? The tomatoes are yellow. Are the, are the tomatoes changing color? They sure are. We are very excited about that, aren't we? Yeah, it was the after our nap. Yeah?
No, buddy. Rachel's not coming over. Okay. Why are you talking to me? Can I talk to everybody? Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I did re read Ear Rape and was like, I'm not going to do that to you when I go into the deep, like, into the garage for the deep, to the deep freezer. And I thought um, that I was being nice because I was going to mute it and not make you go through that. But apparently, uh, it's way worse. Yeah, no clue. That's a lot. That's a lot of, oh my God, this hurts. Please stop. I feel Please like pay attention. really expensive equipment shouldn't do that. Yeah. I feel like $500 mics should Yeah, the not. batteries on the mic died. I feel like $500 equipment should not do that. I don't know. Right. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's, let's try to finish this out quickly. Um, so I've got some frozen... Uh, pulled pork here. Uh, after I braise, um, I guess you guys saw me start a marinade um, for this pork butt. Um, I'm going to sear this. I would sear this off. I'm trying to decide if I want to do this. So typically what I would do is I would just sear this off um, on a stove top. We don't make mistakes. mistakes. We've got We're something going on sense. here. I can't read your whole nam name. I edge. Oh, I can. I edge uh, with a five months. Don't tell up. I subbed. Don't tell Who up. Who subbed? Don't tell up. I subbed. Okay. Um, so typically I would just sear this um, on all sides and then I would stick it in the roasting, a roasting pan. I'd put the liquid back in there and I would braise it for like five hours um, and let it cook. I don't think I'm going to do that today. I think in, in you know, the and trying to save time. I'm just gonna got, put this back in the refrigerator and let both of these marinate and then I'll just cook them like tomorrow or something like that. Um, but I do have um, previously done um, pulled pork here um, and I always, so like as I shred it, I will make sure that I'm taking the juice out of the pan and I'll pour it over the meat and freeze it all together in one big block. Um, it keeps it much more moist um, like tearing apart, uh, like what you like tearing apart your pulled pork and then just leaving it to sit and like sticking it in baggies. Or like if you're going to meal prep or kind of like portion everything out into different like bulk meals, um, then it can, it can tend to get really dry, um, unless you have some liquid around it. So that's what I've done here. I'm going to stick this in the microwave. We're actually going to use the microwave here. Why does he keep putting this back on my stovetop? I'm going to put this in the microwave and I'm going to get it defrosted. Uh, and I'm going to get together all of the ingredients that I need for some Cuban quesadillas. Um, so I'm, I'm basically, I'm making Cubans, but I'm not using Cuban bread. Um, I don't have like a panino maker or a, a, uh, like a panini press or something like that. Um, and so what I like to do for that thin, crispy, nice flat crust that you would get um, on, a, on a Cuban is I like to use a tortilla, because why not? Um, so I'm basically making a quesadilla. That is a much better texture. I'm super excited that those black beans, black beans taste um, are, much, are kind of coming along, because they were not earlier. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get all of my ingredients out for quesadillas. For Cuban quesadillas. So basically what that is, um, it's going to be that pulled pork. I've got some baby Swiss and some provolone. Typically I do it with provolone, um, but I'm going to go ahead and use some baby Swiss this time for funsies. Uh, I've got some tortillas. Do you need help with anything? No, chat, is the E3 Twitch stream not deinterlaced? I don't know what that even means. It's so dirty. Oh, my cumin. I don't have it's any so more dirty. of mine. It's so dirty. Yeah, don't bring that in there. What are you doing? Why are you making that thing slide? No. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, where is the camera right now? I don't, I don't even, okay. 
So I guess I'll make this stuff over here. Because I'm just making a oh sauce. to go back to oh, simmering. Huh? Yeah. I do, but I'm going to cook it anyway because I'm just going to make the quesadillas, so All it right. won't matter. Um, okay, so let's get this kind of cleared away and going. Sorry, guys. I want this pan back. And I may not be able to have it. That is aggressive sounding. Muting you guys. I can use this one if you want. Okay. Let's go, buddy. All right. Now he can be with the kids. Okay. Yes, I unmuted. We are going to do lime juice, mustard, mayo, a little bit of black pepper, and some cumin, uh, and kind of make a bit of a sauce that's going to get slathered over the top of those ingredients. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of mayo. I like Dijon, typically it's not Dijon. I'm gonna throw a little bit of Dijon mustard in there. And a little bit of yellow mustard. I'm probably going to add about a half a lime. Although this lime doesn't have much in it, so maybe a whole one. That's pretty good. OK. We're going to add some lime juice. Add some pepper. Add some hot sauce. And try to find some cumin, which I don't know if it exists as a ground spice in my house that I've not done. I don't know if I have it. Maybe? What are you? You are cinnamon. Ha! Ah, we found some, guys. Hey, what do you know? It's actually quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to put some cumin in this as well. I'd rather it be toasted and ground, but store bought's not bad. Right? Right. We're going to mix this up. OK, I'm closing the door. We got a fly in the house. Oh, door's sorry. OK. The fly likes the food, too, guys. So this is going to be like a nice, tangy, spicy kind of sauce that I am going to put into my sandwiches. That is excellent. I'm very happy with that. OK. I'm 
I love these sandwich pickles. I use these for our Cuban quesadillas. It's basically all that I use it for, although um, sometimes Chuck will just eat them out of the jar, which I like to do but stop myself from doing. Um, these are excellent for like Cubans or any kind of sandwich that you may, apparently I have no hand strength now. There we go. Um, because they're nice, flat, already cut. I have just purchased, it's more expensive to grab these. Um, I have purchased um, just like, you know, have big whole or half pickle jars and I've sliced them myself before. Um, but this is way easier when you have kids and stuff that you need to take care of and you just don't have the time. Um, so we've got our pickles, we've got our cheese, uh, I've got my partially defrosted meat here that I'm going to see if I can pull out. Yeah, I've got that. this will be good. Most of this stuff is already like heated up and ready to go. I don't know if you guys can see that. Woo! So this is like already done pulled pork from previous, previous cooking. Mm, it's very good. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Microwaving. Okay, we're gonna butter the outside of our quesadillas. Oh my God, guys. You know what I forgot? This isn't a quesadilla anymore. Now I don't know what this is. I don't have ham. <laughs> oh no. Can I use bacon? Will bacon work? I forgot to get ham when I was at the store today. I guess I can check to see if we've got any, but I don't think that we do. Let's see. What do I actually have in my refrigerator? Do I have any ham? I have prosciutto. Does that count? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do the prosciutto. Why not? We'll have some fancy smanchy quesadillas. I don't have a lot of prosciutto, so I'm gonna have to be nice and careful. But we'll have at least one quesadilla with some a good amount of prosciutto on it. I'll make two. I'll make two quesadillas. This isn't a lot. This isn't, I want more actually. I'm gonna use this whole thing. This is what I would typically put on to a quesadilla. So this is one piece of prosciutto. Okay. So I'm gonna put that butter side down. going to take out two pickles and kind of dry them off. I don't want, I'm gonna pat them dry. I don't want liquid going all over the place. Um, this is a press sandwich, quesadilla, whatever we're gonna call it. Um, so I want it to be, basically the only liquid that's going into it is gonna be our sauce here. Okay, a little spoon. Ha, I need a little spoon. So, I'm gonna do butter side down. We're gonna get this going. Get that hot. I'm gonna put down some cheese. We have to keep this quesadilla together. So I've got some nice thin sliced baby Swiss. Okay, and then I'm going to Usually at this point I would put the ham down. 
So we're gonna put our prosciutto down. That looks really good. I, if this turns out well, then uh, from now on, I will be using prosciutto. Then I'm gonna put my pickles down. And then the sauce is gonna go on. We're just gonna kinda pour that a little over the top. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the pork. And then we're gonna go with some more cheese on top. Our quesadilla is going to come up and over. And we're going to let that cook. And that is our sandwich. And you'll get to see what it looks like. I'll, uh, I'm going to pull this out. Um, I'll show you guys. I'll like cut it in half and show you what it looks like uh, as a bi, like a bisection of it. That's basically it. Um, I've not. I would be totally willing to try, um, but I have not, no. What did I just step in? Ugh. You ever cook with linguica? What? Do, I can't even pronounce this. Let's see. Whoa. Linguica? I don't know. I would have to look that up. It's your favorite sausage in the world. What is it, what is it um, spiced with? So now I get nice thin bread. It's nice and crispy. I mean, like, how do you even go wrong? You just can't. It's like perfect. Hmm. It's really good. Linguica? Linguisa. Okay, linguisa it is. Smoke, okay, cured pork sausage with garlic and paprika. Okay. So it's basically, it's basically chorizo. But it's Portuguese. Okay. So not Mexican chorizo, not Spanish chorizo, but Portuguese chorizo. Is it usually spicy or is it a very mild uh, flavor? Okay. So there's our quesadilla sandwich. Set this aside. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that and give you guys a cross section of that so you can see what it looks like. Cut up. I don't know if you can hear that at all. Any of that crunchiness. Okay, so there you go. So you've got some of that ham, prosciutto, you got cheese, you got some of your pork and your pickles and your sauce and it is delicious. I really wanna eat this now, but I'm not gonna because we are not quite done. Are we done? Hey babe, I think I'm done. No, the black beans, black beans. Uh, I'm not gonna make rice uh, because that's, I feel like that's something that everybody can do. Um, but I am gonna make black beans or finish up the black beans for you guys. Okay, let's check this out, see where we are. The texture was pretty good the last time that I checked it. So I think I'm ready to um, take my garlic out and add the sofrito in. 
They're still not the exact texture I want them to be, but they're far enough along that I'm totally ready for this. I'm gonna take my bay leaves out. I'm gonna take my garlic out. Bye, garlic. It was nice to know you. You are no longer useful here. I'm missing a bay leaf. I don't know where it is. There's two in here. Ah, found you. There's also a big hunk of garlic in here that I just broke in half and now I don't see the other piece. I guess we'll do this so you guys have this on the front burner and in the shot. Oh, there's a piece of garlic. So there are our beans. We've got some green pepper. This is going to be going in there now. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, actually, I need to mash some of this stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take out some of these beans. Um, you really want to have a good texture in your black beans and rice. It's kind of like a soupy texture. Um, and I don't know if, I guess, like right now, I don't know if you can tell. It's very, like, watery. Um, and so if you want to create that kind of like thick, viscous kind of texture, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out about a cup of the beans, like so, uh, and you're going to mush these. And then that paste is going to go back into your pot. Um, so I actually, I have a mortar and pestle and I'm going to use the pestle. Wait, I don't know what I'm going to use. Is it mortar? I don't know which one it is. Mortar and pestle, but I don't know which piece is which. Fun. Yeah, I got to I gotta do a picture um, of the food. I haven't eaten any of it because I wanted to take a picture of it. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just smushing it. I'm just smushing all the beans up. The bottle of Bacardi looks inviting. I was contemplating mojitos. Um, I actually, I grabbed some mint from my garden and I was thinking we could do some mojitos. I may do that later when we're actually eating this. I'm not quite sure yet. Mojitos, oh wow, that mint smelled good. Hmm, nice. Yeah, so I'm just basically gonna give these a nice mash. We're basically making some refried beans here. Not gonna lie. You could probably put them in a food processor if you wanted to, but we're going to be traditionalists today. And this is going to just thicken that, that liquid up real nice. Getting an arm workout. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with how this is. We're pretty mushed in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this all back in. I think I have a spatula somewhere around here. Oh, right there. We're good. We'll just use this. Okay. So we got our smushed beans back in the pot. Now we're going to add in our like weird sofrito. I do feel like this is going to taste delicious. I'm just going to be honest. Even if it doesn't taste like normal black beans and rice, I feel like this is still going to be really yummy. Because it almost looks like a soup now. Like if I made like a bean soup instead of the traditional black beans and rice. And then I'm going to go ahead and let this cook down even more. Um, but basically, there's your black beans and rice. Or your, sorry, your black beans. Huh. 
your black bean sans rice. Mm. I want to taste this liquid. Hey, buddy. Am I getting hugs? That's a really nice hug. Thanks. That liquid is really nice. The liquid tastes right. So hopefully the beans will end up tasting right. That's from Miss Karen when we brought banana bread to school. Oh. Do you remember that? And she yeah. said thank you in her note? Yeah. Yeah? And can I, put this one on I have canned black beans. Um, and honestly, canned beans, I, I got to say, like canned beans are, are perfectly acceptable. Like this is just me being silly and crazy and nutso. Um, I have, I usually use just canned beans. I feel like the texture from canned beans always ends up so much better than I can do. Um, but the problem is, is there's just no flavor. But it doesn't mean that you can't take, like, uh, like make up some sofrito and like take a can of beans, rinse it, throw it in a pot and throw some sofrito in there or like, or even just a bowl and just heat up the beans with a sofrito and get that extra flavor, throw in some salt, like get it all really going. Um, and just like liven it up a bit. Like you, you could do that any day of the week. Uh, so, I mean, you're gonna have that texture. You're just not gonna have the flavor and you can always just add the flavor. And speaking of which, I'm totally adding salt to this cause I think that it needs it. I also want to add hot sauce to this, but I'm going to refrain at this point and I will just add hot sauce when I put it over my own rice. Um, but that's basically everything. Um, I don't know where the camera is right now. Uh, I guess we're over here. Um, so let me just real quick, we'll recap. Move, move some stuff out of the way. You can help me find the camera. So we've got our, our black beans here. That's essentially done. Uh, that's not a big deal. Well, whatever you want me to do. Yeah. You, you tell me what where you want to do. Are you going to move it? But where is it? Okay. Luke, we got it. It's up, it's up in the ceiling. Look up. Look up, bud. Do you see it? Yeah. There it is. I can't get it. No, it's too high. Okay. So we've got. I guess I could chop some onions real quick. Oh. Did you move it? Cilantro on this sure sucker. Like right here, like. Cool. Typically, I would uh, also chop this down, but we're not doing that. We're just going to we're just going to finger tear this for funsies. Yo, what a smoke! Can't get it off my fingers. So. Okay. Halo announcement soon? Uh-oh. We're doing the next in Xbox right now, I think. The groundbreaking processor. And then technically, if it ever would have happened, 
You also have pulled pork. Where's the part of the glue thing? I don't know, but one second. So we've got our quesadilla here, which I'm going to take a bite of. Mm. Which is really good. Darian thinks I'm follow. Are either of you Cuban? No. I am 100% Cuban. Ha. Polish and Czech. You might be behind the, uh, sorry. What am I? Behind the picture in picture. Behind the picture in picture? Like, I don't know. Like you're in the way and you're in front of the Okay, I'm, I'm Polish and Czech. But I, li I grew up in South Florida, if that helps. Um, I actually really, I actually like the prosciutto in this. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's really nice and salty and it holds up really well. Um, so that flavor is really there. I like that. Okay, so we got our Cuban quesadillas. We have our palomilla. We've got, uh, which was marinated in some lime juice um, with some pepper and some cumin and some olive oil. Um, and I'm about to try that as well because I have no idea what, how that turned out. We'll use the big knife. Um, I'm pretty sure that these are cooked um, about medium. Yep, so we got some nice pink in that. These ones are going to be closer to a medium rare, especially this one. Um, next time I will be cutting them in half and then pounding them so that they're super, super, super thin because um, meat always kind of seizes and bunches up. I, I've, I've heard of this. I feel like in the back of my mind this is coming forward and maybe it's true or maybe it's not. But are there not like irons or something that you like put on to make sure that the meat doesn't come back? That's really good. Hey, baby girl. Um, that is super tender. That lime really comes through, which I like. Um, that's really good. And then uh, we've got some salsa verde here. I don't know. I think she, I think that she her she's getting an ear infection. I've got some salsa verde here with some roasted poblano and tomatillos. A um, little bit of onion, a little bit of cilantro, some cumin, some pepper, um, and a lime. Mm, that turned out really good. Then basically what I did, because I want to put this over my palomilla, I think. Um, what, I, what I do for a dip is I basically make the salsa verde and I add in avocado. Um, we've got here our tostones, and that is just the perfect, we call them special chips. This is a special chip for real. Mm. And there you have it. Oh, I know what I didn't do. I didn't do the Maduros. It's cool. Rachel, come to my house later if you're still here. Um, come to my house like tomorrow or Tuesday or something like that, and we'll, we'll make the Maduros for you. Mm. Oh, wow. Good job, babe. That is juicy. Oh, my God. I'm so sore. I can't bend over. Got it. Okay. It's good. Such a millennial adds avocados to everything. I just think it makes a really good dip. Okay. Are we on our way out? Okay, guys. Thank you for coming by and dealing with the kid aggro uh, and anything else that may have happened, um, such as no ham. That was an interesting thing. Um, there's always a way to work around something, uh, and today I think that we did. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, if you are in LEPS Discord, uh, we have a special channel in there, um, Carrie's Cooking Corner. You can go ahead in there, leave me any questions, leave me any comments. Uh, I'm going and checking it probably a couple of times a day just to see what's going on. Uh, so. Oh, no, Monarch Reptar, you missed it. That's OK. Uh, I'm sure that you can watch the VOD later if you really want to. Skip over like the first hour, because it was all prep and it's boring as fuck. But the rest of it was great. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, I think we're done here. And thank you guys for hanging out with me for a couple of hours. And I'm going to enjoy all of this food now, because I am hungry. And I don't know how I had the strength to survive not eating any of it while I was cooking it. So I will see you guys later. Do I wave? Oh, God. We're waving. OK. Bye. <laughs> this is weird.